Good morning, everyone. Thank you for gathering. My name is Damian Williams, and I'm the United States Attorney here in the Southern District of New York. Today we are announcing campaign finance, bribery, and conspiracy charges against Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City. As the indictment alleges, Mayor Adams engaged in a long-running conspiracy in which he solicited and knowingly accepted illegal campaign contributions from foreign donors and corporations. As we allege, Mayor Adams took these contributions even though he knew they were illegal. And even though he knew these contributions were attempts by a Turkish government official and Turkish businessmen to buy influence with him. We also allege that the mayor sought and accepted well over $100,000 in luxury travel benefits from some of the same foreign actors who arranged many of the illegal campaign contributions. These benefits included free international business class flights and opulent hotel rooms in foreign cities. The mayor had a duty to disclose these gifts on his annual public disclosure forms so that the public could see who was giving him what. But as we allege, year after year after year, he kept the public in the dark. He told the public he received no gifts, even though he was secretly being showered with them. We allege that Adams accepted these benefits knowing that they were given to him because of his position. And in exchange for some of those improper benefits, he intervened in the New York City Fire Department's inspection process for a building owned and operated by the Turkish government, allowing it to open even though it had not passed the fire inspection. The corruption alleged in the indictment is, as I said, long running. As we allege in the indictment, Adams' solicitation of illegal campaign contributions began in 2018. After he started raising funds for his 2021 mayoral campaign, he agreed to take contributions offered by multiple Turkish businessmen, several of whom he met in Turkey. Adams knew that these wealthy individuals could not legally donate in a U.S. election. Federal law clearly prohibits foreign donations. That's how we protect our elections from foreign influence. Yet Adams directed his staff to pursue this illegal money to support his campaign for mayor. And as we allege, Adams continued to pursue foreign money in secret well into 2021. And it didn't stop with his first campaign for mayor. As we allege in 2023, the mayor rekindled these corrupt relationships, seeking more illegal campaign contributions from some of the same foreign sources to support his reelection campaign. Adams also took contributions that broke other laws. As we allege, he sought contributions from businessmen far in excess of what the law allowed. He also allegedly sought contributions from corporations, which are not allowed to contribute at all in New York City elections. Many of those illegal corporate contributions were organized by the same people who organized the illegal foreign contributions. And Adams allegedly disguised them all in the same way by accepting the money through so-called straw donors. A straw donor contributes someone else's money, hiding the money's illegal source, such as a foreign businessman, a corporation, or a wealthy New Yorker who has already contributed the maximum amount allowed. And as we allege, Adams circumvented all of these laws, taking contributions from exactly the sources the, the law prohibits, all to benefit his mayoral campaigns. Now, Adams also personally benefited from the illegal conduct alleged in the indictment. Adams solicited and accepted over $100,000 in luxury travel benefits for years from wealthy Turkish business people and at least one Turkish government official seeking to gain influence over him. Adams started accepting undisclosed luxury travel benefits at least as early as 2016. He took these benefits nearly every year through 2021. Here are some of the benefits that we uncovered during our investigation. In 2016, Adams flew to India through Turkey and received two free round trip upgrades for business class seats. That's the highest class on Turkey's national airline. Those upgrades were worth more than $12,000 and none of it was publicly disclosed. In 2017, Adams accepted free business class tickets for himself and his travel companions to France, Turkey, and China. And he was put up in the Bentley suite in the St. Regis Hotel in Istanbul all of that was worth more than $41,000, and none of it was publicly disclosed. Also in 2017, he flew to China, again, through Turkey, and accepted two free business class tickets for himself and a companion. 
Those were worth more than $16,000, and none of it was publicly disclosed. In 2018, he flew to Hungary through Turkey and accepted free upgrades for business class seats. Those were worth more than $12,000, and none of it was publicly disclosed. In 2019, he flew to Turkey and accepted a free upgrade to business class for his companion and a free stay in a lavish suite at the St. Regis Hotel in Istanbul. That was worth more than $9,000. And again, none of it was publicly disclosed. In 2021, Adam solicited business class tickets to Istanbul, stays at luxury hotels and resorts, yacht tours and meals. As we allege, he asked to pay a nominal fee for all of this in order to disguise what we allege were in fact bribes. He canceled that trip at the very last minute, but the benefits that he solicited were worth more than $21,000. And later in 2021, Adams flew to Ghana, again through Turkey, and accepted free business class ticket upgrades and other gifts while he was on a layover in Istanbul. Those benefits were worth more than $12,000. And just like all the other benefits I've just run through, none of it was publicly disclosed. Now I wanna be clear, these upgrades and freebies were not part of some frequent flyer or loyalty program available to the general public. As we allege, this was a multi-year scheme to buy favor with a single New York City politician on the rise, Eric Adams. Now this is a chart with all of the undisclosed travel benefits that we uncovered during the investigation. We just list it all out here. You see the year, 2016, 2017, 2017, 2018, 2019, and two in 2021. The destination, India all the way to Ghana, the benefits, the free upgrades or free tickets all together, the hotel stays, and the value. And if you just sum up all the dollar amounts here, you get to more than $100,000. And of course, as I said before, every single trip that we list here was undisclosed. As we allege in the indictment, in addition to not disclosing these benefits, Adams sometimes created fake paper trails to try to cover up the travel benefits he solicited and received. Let me give you one example. Adams wrote emails to his staff suggesting he paid for his 2017 business class flights on the Turkish airline when, as we allege, he did not. Those flights were worth a lot of money. Just one ticket alone cost more than $10,000. But months after taking the flights, Adams wrote an email to a staff member and told the staff member that he had left cash in her desk drawer and that she should send the money to the Turkish airline to pay for a trip he had already taken. As the indictment makes clear, that's just a clumsy cover-up. Now, just because Adams received benefits for free, that doesn't mean that there weren't strings attached. As we allege, a particular Turkish government official behind many of the benefits Adams sought and accepted gave Adams all these things to gain influence over him. We allege that Adams knew that and took the benefits anyway. We allege that when the Turkish government official needed him, Adams also took corrupt official action in exchange for some of the luxury travel benefits. In 2021, the Turkish government official was trying to open a brand new high rise building in Manhattan that would house Turkey's consulate. There was significant time pressure because the Turkish official desperately needed the building to be open in time for a visit from Turkey's president. This building was important to the Turkish official and it was important to Turkey. But the FDNY's fire safety professionals wouldn't let the building open because the building hadn't passed an inspection. And not just that, some of the people at the FDNY thought the building had so many issues and defects that the building was not safe to occupy. So the Turkish official sent word to Adams that it was, quote, his turn, unquote, to support Turkey. And as we allege, Adams delivered and pressured the fire department to let the building open. The FDNY professionals were convinced that they would lose their jobs if they didn't back down. And so they did. They got out of the way and let the building open. The Turkish official got what he wanted. And as we explain in the indictment, just four days after Adams held up, his end of the bargain, he went right back to soliciting more travel benefits from the Turkish airline. Now I wanna make three things crystal clear. First, the conduct alleged in the indictment, the foreign money, the corporate money, the bribery, the years of concealment is a grave breach of the public's trust. Public office is a privilege. 
we allege that Mayor Adams abused that privilege and broke the law. Laws that are designed to ensure that officials like him serve the people, not the highest bidder, not a foreign bidder, and certainly not a foreign power. These are bright red lines. And we allege that the mayor crossed them again and again for years. That is the only reason we are here today. Second, this investigation continues. We continue to dig and we will hold more people accountable. And I encourage anyone with information to come forward and to do so before it is too late. And third, the Southern District of New York remains committed to rooting out corruption without fear or favor and without regard to partisan politics. We are not focused on the right or the left. We are focused only on right and wrong. That is our duty and we will fulfill it. Now, today's charges are the product of a tremendous partnership. I wanna thank our partners at FBI and the New York City Department of Investigation who have been with us every step of the way.